Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the basics of Maya's 3D paint tool, how to use it, how to work with it, and how to troubleshoot any issues you might encounter using it. The first thing I'm going to do though is create something to paint on. Uh, so if I just make a bunch of cubes, something along this line, we've got this tower, let's say. Um, the first thing I want to do is go to modeling, mesh, combine. Chances are you already have a mesh or a model you have to work with, uh, but if you don't and you're just trying to practice, um, you may encounter you may have something like this as an example. And we have these empty transformation groups in our outliner, which I think look messy and we don't need them. So I'm just going to select our model, edit delete by type history. Now I'm going to give it its own material and that's what we're going to be painting on essentially. Well no, not, not essentially, but it's to separate it from future materials and I'll explain that a bit better uh, at the end. But now we have Lambert 2 instead of Lambert 1. Um, I'm going to skip a step here because when I first started learning this, um, I encountered a problem that I didn't know how to fix and I didn't know how to describe it. So I'm going to show you what that problem looks like and how to fix it. But by skipping a step, we're going to jump straight into our painting, rendering, texturing, 3D paint tool. And now what can happen is if you have your paint tool selected, but you don't have your model selected, painting will do nothing. It doesn't even give you the option to paint. And if you do have it selected, uh, when you select your paint tool, there's, there'll be this X, this uh, big red X. So what could happen when you try and paint is if you don't have this selected when you have your paintbrush selected, nothing will happen. If you do have it selected when you select your paintbrush tool, you'll have this bit big red X saying you can't paint on it. Um, and to fix this, we select our model, double click our uh, tool, uh, paintbrush tool to open the settings, or we can open it from up here, it's personal preference. I'm going to reset it uh, just so we're both working with the same thing. I'm just going to go to assign edit textures. Now the higher this number, the more detailed your painting will be, but the slower it will be because Maya has to work harder to add more detail. Um, you don't really need anything above 1024. High-end machines you can work with uh, 2048 to 4096. I'd say if you're using an average machine stick with 512 to 1024. So I'm just going to hit edit textures and now we can see our model's gone slightly darker and uh, just so I can show you what painting uh, looks like slightly clearer, I'm going to flood paint white. And now, if everything has gone right, quote unquote, the mistake should show up when I start to paint. You see how it's painted on the other cubes as well. Even though this is only all one model, it's painting them all at the same time. I don't know, I don't want that. I want to paint these different colors, let's say. Let's say I want to paint this bottom one red. Oh, red. This middle one yellow and this top one green. It won't let me. It's painting them all at the same time. Um, to fix this, we have to exit our paint tool by pressing Q, go back to our modeling tab click on UV, automatic, and once again we're just going to make sure Maya hasn't changed anything when we weren't looking and we're just going to hit apply and this comes up with these squares and this kind of setting here honestly don't touch any of it just click in an empty space hold right click and drag back into uh, object mode and our textures are messed up but that's okay because we can just paint over them again you're meant to do that before you start painting as a general reference. Um, but let's, I said I want to paint the bottom one 
Oop, the bottom one I select the proper color this time. Bottom one red, middle one yellow, and the top one green. And now we can do that because the UVs are all fixed. Um, but I explained what that texturing at the start thing was. So because this is Lambert 2, the default for Maya is Lambert 1. So if I create a cube now, it's, uh, it's Lambert 1, it's the default texture. If I now give it Lambert 2, it will look like this. And that looks a bit horrible because it's trying to give all of this color and shape, like the shape color, the UV, onto this. And they're not the same shape. Um, so we add the texture first just so we don't overwrite that Lambert 1. Um, because if we do, every object we create will have this as the default texture. But because we haven't, we've, we've left the default texture and now we can change it however we like. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll try and do as many of these as I can. Let me know what you want me to do a tutorial on and I'll see you soon.